Capricorns, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so this is the Empress. I'm happy to have you guys here with me. Let's clear this energy. Let's clear the space. Okay, so we're going into December. All right, so we're on the last month of 2019. Okay, we're on the last month of 2019. And I'm so thrilled and so excited. Okay, I'm super ready to see what December has in store for you guys. So let's hop right into it. Okay. These messages are general. They won't resonate with every single Capricorn. Take what applies and leave what doesn't. All right. This is for sun, moon, and rising messages for Capricorn for the month of December. What messages are there for Capricorns for the month of December? What message is there for Capricorns? Okay. What messages? bottom of the deck we have material harvest okay so a lot of you guys could be focusing on yourself okay you're focusing on your harvest you're focusing on your business you're focusing on your pentacle you're focused on your money okay a lot of you guys could have been in hermit mode okay you could have been taking time to yourself you could be um you know single or just dating you know nothing serious um because we have the solitude card as well as the shadow card okay so a lot of you guys have been possibly working on yourself in the dark taking this time for yourself and you're focusing on your goals a lot of you are very goal oriented which that is typical um capricorn's energy we know that you guys are the goats um and you're when you have a goal in mind you're going to go after it um the cards that are laid out here in front of me we have heart chakra we have the waiting game and we also have material and spiritual um prosperity I feel like you're giving yourself some time. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys aren't possibly aren't too focused on love right now. You guys are focused on your material, um, your money, your business, your career. I feel like here with heart, heart chakra, I feel like a lot of you guys are putting love on hold, okay? Um, until you find that balance okay you're trying to find someone that balances you give or take okay um that's what i'm picking up on that's the energy that i'm picking up on for capricorns okay all right so we're gonna put these cards to the side and we'll refer back to these later okay now let's hop into a tarot read okay so let's get some clarifiers for these cards here All right, let's see. Please give me a clarifier for a heart chakra for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising, please. Capricorn. We have the Page of Swords, okay? Now, with the Page of Swords, okay, this is communication. It's kind of you know slightly immature type of communication okay so maybe you are possibly possibly looking for you know a love 
I have the Emperor card here at the bottom of the deck. Aries is energy as well as the King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but those are very dominant energies, okay? So maybe someone has been spying on you or you're on the lookout, okay, for love, okay? Why is Page of Swords here? This is my social media card where people are, you know, looking on other people's pages, um, spying. Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah. Okay, we got the Page of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely communication going on, okay? There's communication going on. I feel like you're putting in the effort, okay? You want something. You do want a new start, okay? You're going to be putting in the effort. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so you're putting in the effort. You're possibly ready to start something new, okay? You're communicating with people. And, yeah, I feel like... With the temperance card here could be dealing with the sagittarius but i'm definitely seeing this as you're open for conversation you're open for something new okay while i do feel like a lot of you guys are single okay this is for singles okay most definitely because we got the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles so this is definitely communicating that you're single Okay, so maybe you're trying to be more open and communicate with other people. I feel like you are looking for um, stability. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be going through a separation or a divorce. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with some type of heartbreak or sorrow. Okay, and you're looking for stability now. But this does symbolize like some some people were married and they are possibly going through a separation or a divorce. OK, so now you're opening up and saying, hey, I am single and I'm open for, um, you know, I'm open to communicate. I'm open to flirt and communicate. OK, trying to find a heal. You're trying to heal from something from the past and start fresh. Okay, so now here with the waiting game. Okay, you may be, you may have a few um, options in front of you, okay? So you possibly are being picky and choosy about who you have, who you want to start this new love venture with, okay? Let's see why the waiting game is here. We have the strength card. All right. So Leo's energy. But this is also restraining yourself, okay? <laughs> You're possibly trying to hold back. But I feel like we got the nine of cups here. You have a wish fulfillment, okay? I feel like you're just waiting this out, okay? You're waiting this out. Why is the strength card here? All right, Six of Pentacles. You're possibly waiting to get what you want, okay? You may be feeling like, you know, I want something or someone that is my equal, okay? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, Two of Pentacles, okay? So you want balance. Okay, you're going to wait until you find the perfect person um, who's going to give you the balance that you need, who's going to be your equal. Okay, I feel like in order to do that, you have to let go of the past because I see here that a lot of you guys are possibly still 
looking over the past, okay? You're looking at mistakes that you made in the past, um, and you have to find some type of balance, okay? You need, you're going to need some type of balance, and this is all about balance. But in order for you to get the balance into something new, you have to let go of the past, okay? Then we have material and spiritual prosperity, which is also the Six of Pentacles. All right, so why is material and spiritual prosperity here? The Emperor. <laughs> Aries is energy, okay? I feel like you possibly want someone who's going to let you lead who's going to give you possibly, you know, you want to have control in the situation. I feel like you're afraid to take a risk. I'm just being honest and, and reading what I see. I feel like there you possibly are afraid to take this risk. Some of you guys are going to be deciding that you could, you know, you're good on your own. But I feel like you possibly, you know, want to be in control of the situation you want to be possibly with someone who's going to allow you to lead or or you know take charge why is the emperor here two of swords okay <laughs> two of swords this is basically the same as the waiting game okay so there's indecision Okay, your indecision, you might not be sure if you want everyone to, you know, all in your business, if you want to make this public, you're not sure if you, you know, you just, you, you're just uncertain, okay, you may be afraid, like I said, okay, you might be afraid to make something public, okay, why is the two of swords here? The world card, okay? This could be all. making things public on the internet, okay? I feel like <laughs> you guys are possibly tired, going to get tired of, you know, being a bachelor or a bachelorette <laughs> because we have an ending here, okay? We have an ending here. To the dark side of your shadow side. This is the devil's card, okay? Which is the card of Capricorn. I feel like you are ready for progression, okay? You're ready for forward movement, okay? You're ready for progress, okay? Mm-hmm. So, it looks to me that Capricorns are looking for love but still uncertain if they want to be single kind of like the two of swords card okay stuck at a fork in a row like i want to i'm looking for love but then again if it's not going to be worth it then i'm just going to stay single okay we got the world card, okay? So this is closures. A lot of you guys may have been seeing the number 999, okay? Symbolizing that a chapter is closing, okay? So a lot of you guys are closing phases, which is most definitely a great thing. Getting, Mind you, we're getting ready to go into a new year, okay? And this is you closing this chapter with the devil card, which is the card of Capricorn. You may be closing out a chapter on certain addictions or codependent relationships that you have. Um, something that you may be obsessed with. I feel like a lot of you guys are closing chapters, okay? A lot of you guys are deciding to close chapters. What is the challenge for Capricorns?
Yes, you guys have decided to close a chapter and you're moving on. You're done here. You've done, you completed a chapter, okay? Your intuition is possibly telling you to be single, okay? Your intuition may be telling you to stay single. But I feel like you are thinking about, yep, you are thinking about getting into a relationship, okay? So you've ended a chapter from something in your past. Intuitively, you're like, you know, maybe I should stay single. I'm better off single. But a lot of you guys that possibly are single really do want to be in a relationship, okay? Yep, we got the lover's card. <laughs> Gemini's energy. Okay, so we have the lovers. And then we have the four of wands. Stability, home life, security, marriage, and the star card. Okay, so you're hoping to build something, okay? You decide to walk away from something. Somebody was being too manipulative and being sneaky and tricky. There's been lies and deceit cheating going on and you're looking now for something to fulfill you emotionally okay give me past energy for capricorns what was going on in the past what was going on for capricorns in the past what was going on for capricorns in the past that six of pentacles again all right so balance give and take but maybe there wasn't any okay you feel like something wasn't balanced it wasn't equal it wasn't fair okay it was unrequited so a situation that you were in previously was unrequited okay and the communication could have possibly been off okay there possibly was constant arguing, a power struggle, okay? Someone wanting to be too controlling, okay? What's crowning this situation? What is crowning this situation? Ooh. Okay, so... So, what's crowning this situation, you guys are looking at, you know, you guys are crying over spilled milk, okay? We got the sun card wanting to come out, too. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. I feel like for a lot of you guys, family, you may have let family interfere because we have the family card as well as the seven of wands and the queen of swords, two of pentacles, too many opinions, Someone here is like, get, got offended. Yeah, too many disagreements. Too many people. I'm picking up immediately. Too many people involved. Okay, so there's regret in that aspect. Okay, because we have a four of wands family. Okay, you could have been married. You could be married. All right. Then look, we got somebody digging and prying. We got somebody digging and prying. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Someone possibly got offended, okay? But there was this constant disagreements. Too many people, okay? Too many people, all right? Someone, oh, someone here was being controlling. We got the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, all right? Aries is energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, very dominant energies, okay? Someone was being too controlling. There's too many. I'm immediately picking up on a lot of people being involved. Keep people out your business, okay? So for moving forward, a lot of you guys are, you know, closing the chapter on love, okay? Because you're looking back at the situation. You're crying over spilled milk, okay? 
because you possibly you didn't get what you wanted out of a situation all right so let's move ahead what's coming in for the future for capricorns all right let's see capricorns what is the future energy going into january what energy is going into january for the new year Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is energy, okay? So there could be, um, okay, someone is, isn't putting in any effort here. Someone is being sneaky. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. We got the strength card here. Someone isn't putting in the effort to change, waiting on something new. Or someone is waiting for someone to express themselves. Why is the Queen of Wands? Wands here. This is action, okay? So, or you guys are getting bossed up. You guys are, you know, polishing up. You guys are dating or going out on the scene. We got the Moon card. Oh. So, there is something hidden, okay? There could be some secret thing going on. Someone could be hiding something. We got the moon card here. Pisces is energy. Someone is deciding to drop something or someone. We got the ten of wands. All right. Ten of cups. Why is the moon card here? Ooh. Seven of pentacles. Something isn't worth it, okay? You're looking at something like it's not worth it. You're not sure if you want to invest or if or if anything is going to come out of it. Okay? Someone could be being could be being sneaky. Someone could be sneaking around, okay? The lovers card, we got the 8 of cups. So you guys are deciding to walk away from something, okay? You've walked away from something. You've decided to close this chapter. Some of you guys are giving up on love, okay? Some of you guys are just too busy crying over spilled milk, okay? It's either you want love or you don't, Cappies, okay? And I'm getting, like, a really bad attitude here. <laughs> I feel like you guys should shift your perspective. A lot of you guys have been getting the attention that you want, okay? A lot of you guys have been getting attention, you know, getting some clout yeah from friends being social you're getting to know people people are getting to know you you're getting the attention that you want okay you're being a lot more social so i did pick up as well as some of you guys may be putting on social media that you're looking for love you're getting the attention you're getting you're getting it was like you're fishing like you're you were reeling reeling people in Okay, but I also feel like there's a lack of communication possibly coming from your end or someone else's end. There's a lack of emotion, a lack of, I'm sensing, like, sensing very detached emotionally with this five of pentacles and this page of cups. Okay, kind of isolated, kind of like the loner type energy. Um, but you're getting attention. You're being social. But kind of like just as friends. Yeah, three of swords and the knight of swords. You could be still dealing with some heartbreak or pain, okay?
Yeah, you could be still dealing with some heartbreak or pain. Okay. You're most definitely done with some with someone or love in general right now. You guys are possibly just focusing on yourself. I mean, I'm sensing that, you know, kind of, you know, playing around type energy, not taking anything or anyone too serious. You're really just focused on your money. All right. Yeah, we got the four of wands. Okay. Some of you guys have are possibly getting a divorce or saying that something is over. Okay. Some of you guys are ready to, you know, end, end the situation um, and move on. You're looking back at the situation with regrets, okay? Some of you could be getting phone calls, a lot of people calling you. All right, so we have calling in your soulmate. So your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. But I am picking up on a lot of playfulness energy, okay? So I feel like you guys are doing a lot of playing around. I feel like you guys just aren't really ready to take anybody or anything that's pertaining to love right now serious. I feel like a lot of you guys are focused in on yourself and your, and your money, okay? This one to jump out. We have getting to know each other. See, so yeah, you're possibly taking time to get to know other people because you guys are re just possibly released an ex or feeling like, you know, I just got out of something or I'm getting out of something and I'm just really just trying to get to, you know, get to know, get to know some new people. Okay. Give me one more card for Capricorn. Ooh. All right, and we have pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags, Cappy. The signs are cautioning you, okay? So be careful, okay, when it comes to um, dealing with people, um, when it comes to chemistry, okay? Some of you guys, chemistry, or you could be dealing with someone and you feel like the chemistry is dope or whatever, but you need to be mindful, pay close attention to to certain things okay let's see what pay attention to the red flags let's see what message is there please give me a clarifier for pay attention to the red flags emperor the father card. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, there could be conflict. Someone is just very controlling, okay? Someone has control issues, okay? Someone is possibly possessive. Yeah, it could be you guys' energy. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles wanted to fly out. But it's, it's, I'm picking up on someone who has like control issues. Be careful as well, too, because I got pregnant energy here, okay? I have pregnant energy, and it's funny because we have mother and father card here. So be careful. Someone could be very fertile, or someone could be trying to trap you um, and trying to get you pregnant. Okay, so keep that in mind as well, because the Empress and the Ace of Wands is most definitely pregnant energy, okay? So you guys could be very fertile. Um, and, you know, having unprotected sex or whatever, make sure that you, you know, if you're not trying to make sure that you are wearing, you know, wrapping everything up because I'm getting the mother father card and as well as, you know, pay attention to the red flags at that bottom of the deck. We got the Empress and the Ace of Wands, most definitely pregnant energy okay so you guys make sure y'all wrapping it up tight 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 all right all right guys thank you so much for tuning in with me i am the empress if you want to book your very own personal reading with the empress that information will come up somewhere across the screen or if you don't see it you can check the 
um, description box below, okay? Until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.